the the actual the four year old one of the four year olds when they saw this, they just laughed. They were so proud of themselves because they said that's zero, isn't it? <laughs> yes, that's zero. They were so they were so sweet. Um, I'm not so sure I'm getting uh, participation from everybody, and uh, this is actually a lot of a, a lot of fun. If if I had told you if, if these were base nine, I mean if this was base ten, this number, you would be instantly recognizing six thousand and eighty things in less than a few seconds. Everybody here knows you cannot begin to count that. You could organize them and and you know to be multiplied, which is what you always hear somebody say. You know, organize it. If you have a lot of things, organize it and then multiply it. Well. That's kind of funny because tell me what shape you'd organize this thing into. What? I think this is a prime. I'm not sure. Yeah, this place you're getting it. And keep participating. You look at the, look at the number yourself. See if you can figure it out. Katrice, that's good. Sty, I haven't seen you in there. I know Alexis has got this. Some of you others that are that are just dropping in, just you know, type in the number. Tell me what you see if you're really seeing this, because this is the most important part. I can't really continue in the next two sessions. I don't have anything to build on. If your eye can't see this. Uh, if you're if you're not seeing it quickly and you can't chat it in real quick, it's hard for me to go on. And we do know that every one of you can do this, so it's more of a a patient. I'm going to switch it back to 2D, and in, in 2D you can literally see every single little cube there as soon as it reses for you. So once you get it res. It'll res, so just move in, you know, get your close-up view, get the objects to res, wait until they res. Once they res, then they res really quick because you're looking at the same textures. So type me in a Y, or type me a no, an N, or a no, if this hasn't resed for you yet. If you're not seeing every single little square. Okay, Uta, I know that you're on a slower network. How about everybody else? You may have to zoom in on the, the figures, but once you do it, okay, Katrish can see it. This place can see this. Okay, so I'm now just talking about an SL limitation. Can you see the texture? Now, I'm not going to have you type in the negative number, but I'm going to switch to some negative numbers. See if you can figure out why we call these negative numbers. And you can just type in that stuff. There you go. That's a negative number. What is it? Yeah. Res, res, res. <laughs> yeah, I changed color. After I told you all that about focusing on that, I went and changed colors on you. My bad. Yep, Miss Place, that's exactly right. Yeah, now you're getting this. This should be exciting for you because even as adults, we kind of like the fact that we didn't know everything and that there's something very easy to see. I'll do one more. Is everybody seeing this? Of course, I mean, please say no if you're not seeing this. We'll see if we can't address it. And what number is that? Finally, we'll just stick that in there. Uh, Sabine, just what they're looking at is all the numbers that they're seeing. And so you're looking 
Sabine, let me put it back in the 3D view. That might help. And so you're looking to see how many cubes do you see on a sheet? None. How many squares do you see? Two. How many segs do you see? We actually had to come up with a word for that one. Zero. And how many ones? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. let's move I'm, I'm on. Gonna, I, I, I think... want to interject real quick. Oh. Um, one of the one of the things that you notice that Cooper's doing, although uh, you might not, I'm not sure. Um, the difference that with subquan than with when we talk about regular quantities, um, and that is that we actually say these different. They're not base ten words. So if you take a peek over at the slide, um, you'll see a variety of interfaces that we already use. We don't need those base 10 words to input into your phone, your calculator, your TV remote. So one of the things that we've done in education is we've clogged up children's minds with unnecessary vocabulary. So we call this subquan speak, which is actually a lot of times when you relate a phone number, um, or your social security number or anything like that, you say it digit by digit. And that's how we say subquans. And that's that's one of the ways that, that we can go between various bases. So uh, you would actually type in this number. Go, will you have a new one up there, Cooper? There you go. Oh, because you've got it there. And it and it and I, I turned on chat. It's one of our tools that we can turn on, so it'll chat out both the quantity and the subquan. So you can see because we're in base nine, these are not the same numbers. So we would say five zero three four base nine. We wouldn't or five zero three four base nine. Um, so you wouldn't get it confused with some five thousand thirty three thirty four because that's a quantity number. That's a base ten number and that's not what this is and we'll go ahead and tie that into our talk next in the next hour also are we ready to move on um well i think we talked a little bit about the shapes uh, you, uh well, we've already kind of covered that you got cubes squares and segs did you want to talk about how we came up with SEGS or how the kids came up with SEGS? I, I'm i trying to find out where you are in the presentation, so I, I think we need the hands, don't we, or that in uh, the yeah, last That's minute. next. Yeah, okay. line, yeah, it comes from, comes from line segment, because if you look at your spaces, we have three-dimensional is the cube, two-dimensional would be the square. We get down to one-dimensional, well, that's a line, but a line is in it goes on infinitely <laughs> in, in, to infinity. So we had to shorten it, and line segment would be how you shorten it, but that's a lot of um, syllables. We really wanted to keep it down to one syllable. So the kids decided at that point that seg works the best since you couldn't call it a line and don't call it a ment. So um, segs work the best, and the very, the very small ones are still ones because ones are ones in any base. Um, yeah, so that was that was kind of neat um, that they came up with their own terminology for that. But what we have, um, uh, what what we have now is a way of an even better way to go ahead and look at um, look at a different uh, looking at all the shapes. And Cooper has created the hands. It's the left and right hands. Um, and if you're interested in playing with this further, uh, there is a device underneath our Prezi board on the little table back at our poster session. Um, you can go ahead and see that. Also, after this session, uh, Cooper will be giving those away free. You'll have, need to IM him. Um, but what we do is we use this device to teach shape, color, combining, and counting. I have the hand. I'm bringing it out. He's bringing it out. That's a good deal. Bring um, in the hand. So Not I know we up. sort of talked. Let, let's see. We sort of talked about this already. Uh, the reason for the different colors. Yes, we did. Somebody talk about shout colors. out they... the reason for the different colors. Yeah, because we talked about that. 
sort of in review. That's cool. Are you sitting on it up there? Oh, you're just flying above it. That looks really cool. Yeah, it's photo op. Absolutely. Come and get your yeah. picture on the hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. The hand's ready for you. You can okay. point and click and so what's, do whatever you want. Uh, Last year when we, we were here at VW BPE, we, we uh, presented the right hand, which is the little tiny one up above. Um, and what this... Uh, um, actually, go ahead, Cooper. Okay, I want everybody to go ahead and get it out of your system. Push the buttons. There are buttons, big buttons down on the bottom side. There are little buttons. You'll be pushing mm -hmm. buttons and undoing what somebody else did. There are some buttons in the middle that are clear chat and 3D. Just please interact. Push buttons. Everybody should be pushing a button. Don't forget the little small buttons on the right. The right hand is the small one over there. Uh, it's up on the right. Because uh, the right hand only goes from 0 to 31. <laughs> And the left hand uh, takes you all the way up to 1,023. Ah, somebody pressed chat. Cool. Somebody Can pushed clear tell me also. What, <laughs> what base this this hand is in? Yeah, there's your binary counter right here. But it will allow you to count with both your hands. You could learn to count up to 1,000. Okay, is there anybody else that needs to poke buttons here before we move on? Type a Y. Don't type a Y. Just push some more buttons if you need to. But we're going to go. She's going to go over this device as she, you know, as an example to tell you about how we use this for two things: for counting and for shapes. For teaching. That's the We do shape think you need to learn how to count. Above. We do think you ought to learn how to count. However. We think that that's minor to learn how to subitize and instantly recognize uh, the numerosity of numbers. Uh, I can't say the quantity because that's only a base 10 thing. It's really important to learn the subquant uh, of things. And But if you are going to teach a kid to count on his fingers, my God, be nice. Teach him how to count up to 1,023 while he's carrying on a conversation watching automobiles go by. Because if you can use your fingers, it turns out you can do all this. And your body, again, seems to like it. It seems to know how to do this. These are called the hands because the one on the right is for the right hand, for the five fingers. The little one on the left is the pinky. And then your thumb is actually for 16, quantities of 16. And then your thumb on your left hand is for quantities of 32. And your pinky on your left hand is for quantities of 512. And you can actually learn how to count them. So if we'll stop pushing buttons, we'll let uh, we'll try to go through these shapes, uh, and I will help Rebecca because we we want Aruta so that, because we wanted everybody to be able to play with it, but we also uh, want to proceed. Okay, so if everybody will take their fingers off the off the hands, I'm gonna clear it. And let's just start. I'll, I'll just go through. I'll, I'll, I'll light one shape. So why don't you go ahead and start, Uta? If you notice, this is the, the ones. This is the ones item. It also looks like a, a cube in itself. But what we'll be recognizing here is a is a repetition of patterns, repetition of shapes. So by adding um, another one to this, we fill a container. So you've got your first container. 